Hello, it's us. Hi guys, I'm Kat. I'm Jen. And we're Wandering Souls. Happy Way New Year everyone. 2016. What up? Let's rewind back to December and we'll show you guys our December favorites. Yeah. First music favorite is Cry Baby by Melanie Martinez. This is her first album actually. And I just happened to like see it at a movie store. So I just bought the vinyl. It was pretty cheap. It was $21.99 and I love all the songs on here. My three favorite though have to be Soap. Um, Sippy Cup and Cry Baby. She's a very huge lyricist, so you kind of have to like understand it on a deeper level to kind of get it because I know some of my friends don't get it. Totally should check her out. Like, I absolutely love her and her style. It's so cute. Since month of December revolves around Christmas, so I must have a Christmas song. So, my Christmas song is Ariana Grande. Santa, tell me if you really care. I legit say that song 24 7 when I'm with her in the car and she knows that we oh karaoke gosh. all the time. Yes, yes. yes. I think like one day we literally we just came home and all of our friends are here and we're just like, you know what guys? Let's have a karaoke night. We just we did, did it on and it was mainly me and her <laughs> singing, but everyone else pretended to enjoy it. So my next favorite song is from Justin Booby <laughs> and it's Love Yourself. I don't know, it's a type of song where I like to listen to in the car when I'm feeling sad. For some reason, I would the first thing that comes to mind would be that song. Why are you feeling sad? Why are you gotta be so sad? Okay, a song that I recently found, it was like more towards the end of December, but after I found it, I could not stop listening to it, was Forgiveness by Maiden Heights. It's a silly song, but it's really, really catchy. Mm -hmm. Really, really like it's like a classic type of song. Like you'll love it. You'll oh like gosh. blast it in your car. So, so yes. this month, me and Jenny, or at least I started, and then got her back into it. Yeah. We started reading a lot more, and mm -hmm. what kind of started me back was my old favorite called "Timeless" by Alexander Moner. I don't have a cover because I hate them, so I just have this. This is like a a really really good fictional like sci-fi fiction romance novel it's based uh, between California and then to New York. Okay, her mom died and then she has to go live with her grandparents that she never met and they're like rich as shit or whatever and then um, she had a really hard time there but then like she's always had these dreams about this guy and let's just say once she came to this house she pretty much met him and it was out of this world <laughs> It was out of this time! <laughs> <laughs> and so I read the second book, which is called Timekeeper. It revolves around mystery, romance, and time traveling, uh, which is a continuous of the this book. One. The guy, uh, he came to her time, and he forgot all about her, but she remembers him. So she's trying to find out a way to, like, for him to remember her again. She knows this is a guy that she's always loved, mm -hmm. and he also promised her that he will, no matter what, come back to her. Mm -hmm. And it's just like a heartwarming book. I think during Timeless, I fucking cried. I was at work reading this and I cried. I was like, no! There's a lot of plot twists, so we recommend you guys to read these, these two books. <laughs> Sad. But anyways, I have two music videos that I love, which is from Icon! My babies. Which is called Dumb and Dumber and What's wrong. And I absolutely love those two MV. I don't know, I just really like it because it's very colorful and it's my baby. My baby icon. So this month, I've been kind of binging. <laughs> I'm binging on Pretty Little Liars because the new season Late. comes out soon. I'm trying to finish all five seasons with a buttload of episodes before then. And it's basically about these four girls who are being pretty much tortured by an anonymous A. a. And they're pretty much trying to figure out who it is, and this person's like basically ruining their life. And it all started when their friend, like their best friend, Allison De Laurentiis, died. Uh, my favorite fashion item for the month of December is these boots, which is like Chelsea boots, I'm assuming. Yeah, and these are what it looks like. It's from Steve Madden. I got it when it was on sale. So, how much yeah, was it? I think it was around so busy. Speaking of awesome shoes. For Christmas, my brother Ricky, he gave me these! Okay, funny story about these. He gave me such a hard time. So he pretty much told me and showed me an email that 
they ran out of these at the store. Yeah, he took me to the mall to look for another pair of shoes that I wanted. And like, lucky for him, most of them didn't have my size. But the, th the ones that did, he's like, are you settling? Are you settling? I don't think you want to settle. Like, we can find something else. Our Secret Santa day, he gave me a box. I opened the box. It was it a shoe sad. box. And inside the shoe box, there's a freaking coconut. coconut! And he came out again and he finally gave me his, the damn shoes. But he made a freaking good job making sure that he was going to give me a really hard time about so it. So my next fashion item is from my brother, Richard! What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what he got me for my birthday was this Nike sweater. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I really like it. For 24-7 because it's freaking comfortable and it's gray. So and what's awesome wear. is... I have a black one, yeah, so we can so match. matching. Yes. A basic. You always need a basic in your life. Living that basic lifestyle. <laughs> basic bitches. <laughs> basic. So my second item is this Brandy Melville sweater or shirt. I don't think I can call it a sweater because it's so freaking thin. Yeah, and I pretty much, I live in this. Like, I sleep in it and then just wear it out too. It's like that, like, lazy Sunday look I really like, so. So my last fashion item is this. Da -da 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 -da. Bummer jacket! I don't know, you guys probably can't really see it, but it's black and it's super long. long. The funny story is, I was at Forever 21 trying to look for a black duster, but I couldn't find one. So I just happened upon all this one. I was like, why not? I haven't had a bomber jacket. And the funny story is, I'm so obsessed with it that I got another one. <laughs> another one in Olive. My last favorite item is this Nomo bag. <laughs> Yeah, so my fiance gave me this for Christmas and it's from um, this like shop called obviously Nomo in London and it was uh, like 140 pounds. I, I needed a new ba black backpack and this was like the perfect one. It's very structured and like it fits a book, my wallet, all my lip products, a makeup bag, my phone. It has like an actual freaking pocket for my phone. Like it fits perfect for the iPhone. 6. 6s plus it's like it has gold accents on it and like the gold words and it's very minimal and very cute and i've been obsessed with it and this is the only bag i've been using all Non -stop. month yeah so my yeah. beauty product for the month of december is this mac lipstick this is my very first mac lipstick that i got at macy and it's called dark side what it looks like can you see it okay we'll try to see it Squint your eyes and see it. Squint. <laughs> but it's on my lips also, so you know. This this is how much I'm obsessed with it. I love dark lip stick. Okay, so my lippy favorites, talking about lippies, is this Lime Crime, matte lip color, velveteen Lime Crime, whatever, in the color cashmere. I've been obsessed with this thing. It's so easy to use and it stays on for a long time. And like mm -hmm. I honestly don't have to reapply it that often. And it just kind of completes your look even if you're having like a drab unglam day like i have it on my lips right now and <laughs> i love it so much i had to get my sister one funny story is i already knew what that she got me this but i had to pretend that i didn't know so whatever <laughs> i love it so much that i got another one it's called riot and it's kind of more like a pinkish um reddish color i don't know if you guys can see it but recommend these guys Yes, love them. They're my favorite lip products. My second fa favorite like face or makeup product I've been using this month is Tarte's Palette Tartlet. And here, I'll show you the colors in this one. It's very um, basic, very yeah. neutral colors. Your everyday colors. Like a go-to palette. Yeah, I can use like every color or like I can do like every type of eyeshadow style with My that. last beauty favorite is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is literally my favorite. It like elongates your lashes. It doesn't look all spidery and clumpy. It, you don't have to even curl your eyelashes, which I don't do because I think that just breaks your eyelashes. So I'd rather not. And I cannot use falsies for anything. I've tried. I think for her graduation I tried. Yeah, she ripped and then, it like, off. Yeah, like before we even left for the graduation, I just ripped it off like the fist. Our like, other random items that are our favorites this month are... My first one is this wallet, which is from also from Steve Madden. I've been searching for a another wallet because my other wallet was from Claire's, which is, it has an owl on it, but 
I thought it was an upgrade. <laughs> this is time to upgrade to be a woman. It's basic black and has gold touches to it, which I really like, especially the handle, because sometimes I don't like to hold it like this, but I rather hold it like this. My item is another Christmas present. It was a very random one. Like I didn't even expect my friend to give me a present. It was from Yoon. I Yoon. Well, yeah, he freaking, I don't even know how he knew I had a rock collection or a crystal collection, but um, he ended up giving me this really nice, like, it's like a lavender cream colored crystal rock, and I just think it's super pretty, like, the colors are so pretty and it's really sparkly, and it was just, like, an amazing gift to not even, like, expect. My last random item is... This backpack, what up? I was also looking for a black backpack because my other one was demolished and ruined. Her. Anyways, this one is from Topshop and what I like about it is it has gold, gold touches which I really like and a lot of compartments. Okay, my last favorite is this uh, perfume from Urban Outfitters. It's called The Matcha. I saw this on the Grey Layers Instagram and I was like, I need a new perfume. So why not? Yeah. And I went and I sniffed it and I was like, I love this. So guys, thanks for watching our December favorites video. We hope you guys enjoy, you know, our awesomeness. <laughs> okay, be sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.